What is up guys, this is PC Gaming 300 back for another tutorial here for you guys and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to reduce your file sizes ridiculously low so this is primarily for audio and video, video files but I'm, I think it'll work for other type of files if you ever want to do that but this is primarily for audio and video files so I'm going to be pretty much teaching you guys how to reduce your file sizes by around 90% while not losing pretty much any quality so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that. So just for proof, here I have my documents. So I use this for all of my videos. So when I usually record, as you can see, this video over here, um, this is 3.5 gigabytes. This is like normal. This is a 16 minute gameplay video. And here's the exact same one after reducing the file. And as you can see, it's 523. It says over here, I don't know why the thing won't come up, but it's 523 megabytes. So that's a ridiculously lower file size and as I'll just show you that the quality is pretty much the same uh, let me just open up this one okay so here's some Bioshock I was just testing it testing out the Bioshock infinite gameplay on low settings just see how it, how it, would, how it would play so as you can see um, here's the quality on the high video on the 3.5 gigabyte video and here's the lowered 523 megabyte video and let's just look at it and as you can see it's pretty much the exact same now obviously the the game's graphics on most settings make it makes it look bad but it's pretty much this, pretty much the same quality as you can see you can probably just do all this stuff you can do all this stuff so as you can see it's pretty much the exact same so i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that so let me just exit out of this um yeah so you want to go and download a program called handbrake so i'll put the link in the description it's over here you can just select for Mac OS for so for Mac OS X for Windows anything after Windows XP Windows XP and after that Ubuntu and if you have any other type of operating systems they might have it no I, I think this is, this is pretty much it but yeah you can download it over here so now I'm gonna be showing you how you do it so once you install the program you want to open it up and let me just go to full screen so over here this is what you're gonna find so what you want to do first is you want to click on source and you want to hit open file and you want to find the file the big file which you want to reduce so this is the 3.5 gigabyte file this is what I would click on so I'll just click on that and then what you want to do after that so it's just processing itself so as you can see it shows everything what you want to do after that is over here where it says destination file what you want to press is browse and basically you want you want to choose where your reduced file is going to end up so after so it's just going to create a copy so what you want to do is the reduced file, you want to choose where it is. Now as a tip, beware of this, I did this when I first um, started using this program. You do not want to replace the low, the reduced file size and replace the bigger one. Because what, what that, that does is it just creates a one second video and it, and it deletes your previous video. So what you want to do is you want to just create a copy, I guess. So you do not want to replace the newer one with the big one. So you don't want to just go like that and just hit save. and delete the other one to replace it so you can just delete the other one later on but yeah just be wary of that it's kinda hard to explain but hopefully you guys aren't confused and just select mp4 or whatever file you want depending on if it's audio or video and yeah and then what you want to do is you want to if you're uploading it to YouTube you want to hit web optimized if it's if it's not for YouTube then I don't think you have to press anything if it's very large I guess you can press large file size what you want to do is you want to copy all of these for aspect ratio you can it, it depends on what your video was recorded in mine was on 1920 by 1080 you want to copy this you want to have anamorphic at loose modulus at 2 display size depends on what it what it is for you guys cropping for me I set it at automatic if you want to have it at custom you could but I don't see the point of that and then for filters you want to have all off and this is off and video which is pretty much the other important screen everything else is pretty much not important important uh, audio I guess could be important if you're doing audio but for as far as video goes over here you want to have these settings over here so I'll just leave it on the screen for a while as you can see very fast none none 
constant quality okay so this is the important part right here over here it says constant constant call it quality zero so you want to drag this pointer thing and you want to drag it all the way to I would say 20 because 20 that's the point where it re where it reduces the file size a lot but it does not get rid of the quality now if you go over here you could do that it'll pretty much like turn a hundred gig gigabyte file into like 10 megabytes but the quality will be terrible so just leave it at 20 you can make it a bit lower if you want but just leave it at 20 and that's pretty much how you do it what you want to do after that is you want to hit start you want to wait for it to process and that's pretty much how you do it I'm not gonna do it because 3.5 gigabytes is gonna take I don't know 15 minutes or not that long but like 5 10 15 minutes and I simply don't have that much time but um, that's pretty much how to reduce your file size ridiculously low 90% lower Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned from this video how to reduce your file size. If it did help, please leave a like, subscribe, share, and favorite. Hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time.